Let me read you a Bible verse that many people have not understood. It's in Proverbs 11, verse 2. It says this, When pride comes, disgrace follows, but with humility comes wisdom. With humility comes wisdom. What is that saying? Humility in first century Christianity meant teachable. So often when we're prideful, we are locked stern in our opinions. We're not open. Our mind is like a closed fist. We're not open to others' ideas or to God. But when we're teachable, we open up. And in that opening up, we gain wisdom. Sometimes we're tested in times of plenty and more times than, uh, than not, we're tested more in times of plenty than we are in times of want because we tend to circle the wagons around us and we do not become teachable anymore. We think, well, I've got it now. I don't need anything else in life. No matter how successful you are, always remain humble and teachable. Because the hidden curriculum of your life, or I should say the real curriculum, is soul growth. When we experience life's difficult days, we may be quick to turn our thoughts and our hearts to God, looking for help. But in times where everything seems good, when the sun is shining, our minds are at ease, we may be tempted to think our good fortune is of our own making, and therefore we don't need to become teachable anymore, we don't need to be open to God, open to God's wisdom and direction. But that's precisely the time that we need it the most. God plays a hand in every aspect of our lives. And the blessings that we receive, we must offer thanks and praise to God constantly. Not just for the hour on Sunday morning, constantly. Have you been blessed by God? I sure have. Are you enjoying the abundance that God has provided? I sure am. If so, praise God continually for God's gifts. Be open, be teachable, listen for the wisdom of God about where you're to go the rest of the day and tomorrow. Don't for a single moment allow a prideful heart to separate you from the blessings of your lovingly constant companion, your constant guide, your constant friend, God.